I'm often asked a lot of questions about which should come first, the dress or the hat. And I dive deeper into that quandary in the next video called, of course, which should come first, the dress or the hat, but that's later. I'm assuming if you stumbled upon this video, you were more interested in design concepts in general. And for that topic, this video is the best place to start. There's always room for creativity, of course, but let's just say that I subscribe to two different schools of thought regarding hat ensembles. First, there's the monochromatic look, which refers to dressing in a single color from head to toe, or at least a hue of that tone, head to toe. The dress and hat represent one single shade and it's a very powerful look. The dress and hat don't need to have matching Pantone colors exactly, although they certainly could, but the tonality really needs to go together. By the way, I would always advocate doing a nude, metallic, or multicolored shoe with this monochromatic dress look. You do not need to wear a solid color matching shoe, and you probably shouldn't. We all remember Melania Trump's fabulous inauguration day look, but it could have been even more fabulous had she chosen nude over those baby blue pumps. And it could have been even more fabulous had she worn a hat, but don't get me started. The second way to pair your dress and hat is to play off one of the secondary colors of your dress's print. For instance, let's say your dress has a main purple base, but white, pink, and blue are equally represented in the pattern. You might consider a hat that picks up on one of the dress's secondary colors. So white and pink, or white and blue, or pink and blue. This is really a very general guideline, and of course it all depends on the actual dress. Feel free to email me a photo of your dress. You can reach me at chapeau.com in the style guide and send me an email. I'm always happy to provide free outfit consultations. One more very important point that I need to share with you. It's not all about color, it's also about the style of the dress. If your dress is flowery and romantic, I would never pair it with a geometric, architectural, or super modern headpiece. What if your dress is particularly modern, with pop art elements and bold graphics? Definitely stay away from hats with a vintage feel. And although modern dresses can work with hats or fascinators adorned in flowers, this is really an opportunity to pick up on your dress's style and do something incredible. You would be surprised how many women just see color and completely disregard the hat style versus the dress's style. Lastly, I would like to talk a little bit about size and style of hat for a dress. If you have a big dress, and you all know what I mean by a big dress, either your dress is in a super loud color, or it's very voluminous, or it has an almost dizzying pattern, let's tone it down a little bit with the hat. It's just not quite as necessary to go as bold with your headwear in this case, otherwise nobody's eyes know where to look. However, if you're wearing a little solid color Roland Marais dress or very simple style, we have a lot of room to go wild with the headwear. This is your chance to pick a hat that ensures you won't be lost in the crowd. If this is the case, why not pick up the solid color of the simple dress as a secondary element in the hat. For example, if the dress is solid white, this might mean a blue hat with a white flower detail. I am about to make a huge generalization here, and maybe it's not always on point, but I do think it should serve as a general guideline. I am not a huge fan of greatly conflicting elements when it comes to hat dressing. That's to say, if you're wearing a solid color blue dress, why would you pair it with a solid color white hat? To me, that just says you didn't think things through. And that's all that was available to borrow from your friend the night before. Hat dressing is all about playing with color, patterns, and different elements of your outfit. They should all really intertwine and look like they belong together. In the world of hat dressing, that equals success. In the next video, we'll tackle the question that's always on everyone's minds. Which comes first, the hat or the dress? So stay tuned. Be sure to check out my boutique, chapeau.com, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more fashion tips.